James Helder for iPhone TV in association with Matt Jim Marbao. With me, I've got yeah, buddy, none other than Wally Camacho. We're at York Hall, ahead of him, back in action, defending the Southern Area title, top of the bill, July the 16th. How are you, Wally? I'm doing very well, man. Like, couldn't be happier. Um, all the effing's gone great, and it's been good. How do you feel the rebuilding process? Because that's that's what officially it is. I know you've you fought at great level, winning yeah. the prize fighter, challenging for the English as well, signing with Steve Goodwin, sort of regrouping your career. I know yeah. good win over Daniel Woodgate last time out to win this Southern Area strap. Uh -huh. How have you found things so far coming back? If you like, um, it's actually been good. Like you know, I'm I'm actually sort of very glad that certain things have obviously happened because you know me having a small little break and me having my little daughter. Um, it just actually just made me sit back and realise certain things that I was doing so so much wrong. And um, you know, now it's all about I've got the right team around me, you know, I've got my trainer and everything like that and now I'm just working on the things that, that I needed to improve much more that I should not be getting here, you know, I'm a South or tall and everything like that. Yeah, yes I got the power but I don't need to show the power in, in the fights and that. And um, but yeah, so everything's gelling together now and I'm just feeling so happy. Um, I've been getting great experience from um, you know world champion like Tony Bellew, helping him out. It was a pleasure, and you know I've, like the things he was telling me actually you know actually showed me a different level. Like he actually brought me up to another different level, and um, you know thanks thanks to Tony as well. Like and um, you know now this next week, you know it's time to show the case tonight and show everyone out. Like, you know the little, little changes that I've been making and the improvement I've been doing. You mentioned the sort of the little improvements, the little changes. Do you think you, you've improved on your sort of defensive frailties, if you like? Because you're always an exciting, exciting fight. One yeah. because you can punch, and two because you're sometimes vulnerable of, of, of getting, getting punched hit. as well. So, do you feel you, you've tightened that up in terms of your defence and, as you said, being a southpaw, being a bit more clever? Yeah, yeah, most definitely. You know, I know now when, when to engage in, not not just to go there, bomb that like throwing bombs all the time. You know, it's just it's all about I'm fit. I got ten rounds. Why not use them? Ten, why not use them? Couple of rounds to obviously suss the guy out. Then after, then, then go for the finish instead of trying to do it first round or second round. Mm -hmm. And um, so that's the thing I've been doing. I've been just keeping myself nice and tidy. You know, just taking my time, being patient. And, you know, eventually it will come. Yeah. I mean, Danny Cousins has fought for the, the Southern area twice before. Once against Leon Senior at like heavyweight. Yeah. How do you think he looks at cruiserweight? Looking at the stage, do you think he, he can handle that cruiserweight power? Um, I'm not sure. Obviously, you know, he looks alright. He's like six one or six or six four. Um, but really, truly, I'm not really, I'm not really concentrating on him. I'm, it's all about just me. The eyes of focus is all, all about me. And um, you know what I'm gonna do is, um, it's gonna be um, incredible, like right? I mean. But I know the fight will end uh, or end early or end long, because um, it all depends what he brings onto the table, like. Right? Since you've had your daughter, I've noticed a real maturity about even your social media stuff. You're not as active or as sort of maybe as vocal as you have been in the past about certain subjects. Do you think you've matured a lot as a man, becoming sort of a father and having maybe the setbacks that you've suffered as well as, as a success in your journey? Yeah, most definitely, you know, all that, you know, um, you know, losing a fight actually does make you depressed and that and this and that mm -hmm. and makes you realise like what, what's going on in life like. But you know, since obviously my little one and also my missus and I, that like, she puts me in place as well. You know, she tells me certain things and uh, you know, it's just a great family structure that now I've got. And the boxing now is just easy. It's just I, I just there's certain certain things I've, I've I've been doing that you know they're the things that you learn in the amateur days, like. But it's like all of a sudden I had to obviously do, learn the mistakes in in the fight. But now it's, everything's come to to plan and everything's going smoothly. One thing I credit you for, Wally, is your sort of ability to take a fight and make a sort of on paper, and, and a, not an average fight, but a fight that maybe we're not being excited about, very exciting yeah. in the build up and the way, not just you know it takes two people to sell a fight, yeah. but you're always involved in good encounters. So we're hoping to see you in some big, big clashes coming on from this. Oh yeah, most definitely. You definitely see Wally um, back in action with the, on the big shows, on the big fights and the big hypeness. You know, but so far, like I said before, when I had my break, I wanted to have the southern area. I've always wanted to have the southern area. Now I've got that, I'm going to do a defence and then move on to the English. Whoever's got the English, then, you know, get ready because I'm coming. And um, yeah, it's, it's all about having fun on the night, man. 
any chance of going over old ground and maybe trying to put some of them losses you've suffered early on in your career, put them right? Is that something you've thought about? I know recently as well, with defeat to, to, to very talented Craig Kennedy, yeah. you know, with a DQ, that must be played on your mind for a little while. Is that yeah. something you've thought about? You know what, that's something that was, um, that's something that's, it was in my head and that, but it's actually gone out of my head now because I know I had I had some demons around me, like, yeah, to feeding me certain instructions and this and that, and I went into that fight like all crazy. People watching it, it's like, they know that it wasn't me. But you know, it's one of the things like, right now, I let my, my manager, Steve Goodwin, decide certain fights and this and that. Who trained but, you full time? Or who are you training? Jason Rowland right now. I train at um, SW Pro Gym, you know, um, Wicked Gym as well, like, and uh, the atmosphere over there has just been um, phenomenal. It's just um, really great. And the um, change has helped you though. It's sort of a, maybe Jason, he's a no nonsense sort of trainer, taskmaster, if you like, very disciplined and very, very good at what he does. Is that, do you find that that's helped you, that sort of environment? Yeah, it's good, but you know what? When I went to Jason, I, you know, fair credit, like he's, he's putting a lot of work with me, like he's tidy up and certain things. But the good thing about it is that when I tell him certain things, it's like he, that's what he's going to tell me. So it's like we gel it together. It's like my, my new instructions and his instructions as well is that we gel it all together and you know we'll come up with a perfect plan and that on the fight so uh, everyone's gonna see um, the new Waddy on the night and um, you know great credit for Jason Rowland as well for putting in the work as well and my whole team. Give me a fight prediction for July the 16th how do you see this one playing out? Oh, just like I said before you know all depends like what he brings to the table you know if he wants to come in like all tough and all trying to brawl out, like, he's going to get knocked out really quickly. But if he wants to box light like, and take his time, then it'll be probably be after five rounds, he'll probably get knocked out. But a um, million percent, he's going to get knocked out. A million percent, you know. So anyone wants to bet or something like that, go to the bookies and I like, get some money. <laughs> but yeah, no, nah, it's all good, man. Like, I know it's going to be a nice knockout, nice win for me, just comfortable. The main thing is all about me looking nice and tidy, and um, letting people come up to me and say to me, you know what, Wadi, you look good, you look sharp, you, you look nice and tidy, and that's what I like. Would you ever fight for the Spanish title? Uh, yeah, all day long. Would like, you consider that? Would yeah, you? all day long. Look, you, you listen, get, you're I'm, quite a big deal I'm, when you go out to Spain. I'm, Spanish I'm, I'm love British you, and Spanish, so it's like, you know, I can fight for anything. Like, you Are you know? ranked in the Spanish rankings? Um, yeah, but I don't really check. I think I'm number two, I think, now, or something <laughs> like that. But, yeah. El Wadi, El Toro. Hey, hey, Tornado. <laughs> but, yeah. That's great. Well, listen, on that note, Woody, best of luck on the 16th. Looking forward to a great contest. Good to see you back in action. And as I said, on the rebuild. That's it. And um, yeah, thank you for giving up a bit of time. No today. problem, man. It's been a pleasure. And it's been a long time that I haven't seen you. I, I see Q, thing, yeah. Q in the last couple of weeks and that. But, um, you know, it's nice to see the old faces and that. And then carry on, carry on with the journey and that. Top and man. also, I just want to say big thanks to my sponsors as well. Lantern, Boxfit. Um, 195 Essex House, <laughs> Kevin, <laughs> and um, SW Pro Gym. You know, thanks for all the support on that. Um, it's been a pleasure. And let's have some fun on the 16th. Top man, Wally. We'll see you on July the 16th. Thank you for the 12 TV. No problem. Thank you.